Welcome back, everybody. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like part five. I want to do like a part six or seven when everything is actually running. But um, I'm having an issue on this one because I bought these chips right here from Amazon. It'll, it came from China. They came in and they're not really working. So... You seen on the last video on on part four that I was able to get my NEMA uh, seventeen stepper motors to run with that one chip. So this one is supposed to run help me run the NEMA twenty threes. So I'm gonna plug this in to the X axis port. And then I'll let me pause the video and then I'm gonna get the um there's plugged in. I'm gonna pl pause the video, get my USB connected, and then the power is still 24 volts. There's 24 volts coming out of here, goes to here, and goes to the TB6600 stepper motor driver. So both of them are getting 24 volts. But I'm going to pause the video right now and then I'm going to plug everything up and then I'll show you what I'm having an issue with. Okay, so I got the USB connected. You see that red light is on. So now all I got to do is turn on my power supply. And when I do that, you'll see that green LED light come on. Oh, weird. It's not turning on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm sorry it took so long. My extension cord was... Uh, extension cord was unplugged so now I'm gonna turn on the power and I'm gonna turn on the power to the power supply right here there you go so now you see that it's red I um, mean it's green it's light light is on and then over here since it has 24 volts you see my TB6600 has a green and red light so it should be fully connected. I it has pictures on how to connect the chip to um, the step, direction, negative, positive, all that stuff on the Amazon um, pictures that they had for it. Whenever you're looking at everything. So now what I'm gonna show you the issue that I'm having. I may have to just connect everything myself because I don't know if these chips really are all that great. Because you've seen the other chip that I used for my Nemo 17s, they work. But this one isn't working right. So I'm going to hit connect. You'll see a blue light on the MKS Gen L. There it goes. So it's connected. So now we're on the X axis down here in the corner. So that should make, I'm gonna try to move 10. Um, I don't know if it's positive um, clockwise or counterclockwise, but you'll be able, if it did spin, you would be able to see it doing something, but I don't see it doing anything right now. So I try to go over to the right. So let me try the left. I'll try to do one. One millimeter. Still not doing anything. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but it's not working. So I'm gonna have to just figure out how to wire everything up myself again, I guess to make these work because I need the TB6600 to be able to use my CNC machine 
And if you guys know of a way for me to wire everything up or have like something you can share, please comment down below. And um, if you know of a picture or a wiring diagram or schematic, please let me know in like the comments. I will look at the, the comments to find out, even if I have to go online or something. I've been trying for a while to get everything to work. And I'm super close, because, I mean, if I was running NEMA 17s, then I would be just completely fine. But I don't know about the 23s right now, because I can't, I need to have a lot of power for torque and stuff for the 23s. So I can't use the chips that I do have if they're only running NEMA 17s with those. But I appreciate everybody watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you can help me, I would appreciate it. Goodbye.